Okay. Stefan auch. Nein, wir bleiben hier. Wir bleiben hier. Wir bleiben hier. Und was machen wir hier? That's fine. So, very briefly, what does Islam mean? Islam means submission to God. Submission. Basically, you accept God in your life as a Muslim. As you said, to be a Christian means to believe in God and to go to church, right? To have faith in God. To have faith in God. In Islam, the concept of God is slightly different from the Christian. We have a similar concept of monotheism, but the Islamic monotheism is unique. Where we know, for example, we, it is called Abrahamic faith. You were aware of that? Yeah. The history of Abraham? You know Abraham? Of course. Yeah. So Abraham was the father and he had two kids, Ishmael and Isaac. Isaac, from his lineage came Christianity and Judaism. And from Prophet uh, Ishmael came the lineage of Islam. Are you familiar with that? Yes, I am. So then, in Islam, we have the concept of God in Islam, we have two things we can break it down. The first thing is the actions of God. Action. Actions of God. No problem, no problem. Why you don't like police? <laughs> the police won't the... No, you, you legal, you didn't do nothing wrong. <laughs> oh no, police, police. Is problems in your city, police sometimes? No, no. Good city? Yes, yes. All right. All right. All right. Quiet, yeah? Okay, let's go back to it. So going back to the point I was making. So in Islam we have God's actions and God's rights. Okay? When we talk about God's actions, we talk in things like his qualities and actions. And his, uh, his oneness in qualities and actions. And we talk also about his oneness in lordship. You know the word lord? Yeah. So his oneness in lordship. And when we talk about it, it's unique in Islam. Where certain things, we say the God's majesty is unique. Certain things men say is not befitting to God's majesty. What makes God great and worth of praise has to be his qualities. Do you agree? Uh, understood? Yeah. Okay. So, God has certain qualities that makes him worth of being worshipped. So, from them, the oneness of, uh, of, um, of look, what, what kind of church you go to? Catholic, Orthodox? Um, well, Orthodox and Evangelisch, I, I don't know. Evangelian, 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 the opposite of Catholic. Oh yeah, so you Orthodox then? Yeah. And you, all of you, the same church? Yeah. Okay, okay. Like me, myself. But, but not this guy, he's a Catholic. Where? Orthodox. Okay, not a problem. Like myself, I was born a Catholic. Portugal, you know, Portugal, Spain. The Italy influence, the Vatican and Rome is very strong. So we Catholic, usually just Catholic. So what made me consider, because you, do you believe in God? I believe in God. Do you all believe in God? Yeah, yeah. But do you believe Jesus is God or Jesus was sent by God? Jesus is the son of God. Okay, is Jesus God? No, no. Is Jesus God? No. You don't see Jesus as God? No. no. So basically, um, saying that Jesus is not God in some Christian sects or even the doctrine of Christianity, they look at Jesus as God himself. Not really. Okay. Well, some may do that, but in the majority I do believe that they don't. Okay, interesting. I would then just going back to the Islamic concept, because what you believe already is very similar to what we Muslims believe. Yeah. For example, in Islam we have six pillars before that. Islam means submission to the will of God. It's like accepting God in your life and having faith in God and be um, good, obeying, the God, uh, obeying God and, and sticking to God's uh, law, for example. And worshipping God as well. So this is the meaning of the word Islam. And then the word Muslim is the person, the individual, 
who is submit to the will of God Almighty. And then we have six pillars of faith. The first is the believe in God, believe in his books, believe in his angels, in his uh, prophets and, and messengers, and the uh, day of judgment, the recompense. Everyone will be accountable for his actions. And the last is to believe in the Qadr, in Arabic it's called Qadr, which is the destiny. It's destiny. So we got these six pillars of faith. When it comes to prophets in Islam, Allah said in the Quran, we don't make difference between the prophets. We say, we hear and obey. And, uh, and we ask God for forgiveness. Okay, and to God we shall return. So we don't make distinction before, between the prophets, they all equally in the stands of Islam. Okay, from an Islamic stand, they all equal in status. And then in terms of books, revelation, because your beliefs are based upon revelation, right? Or what is... Uh, um, don't worry, brother. Don't worry. I did not understand it. <laughs> oh, okay. This is a bit challenging. So, you know books, the yeah, Holy Bible. Books. The, the Torah, New Testament, Old yeah, Testament. Yeah, yeah. We, we in Islam, we believe all the prophets, they brought books. Mm -hmm. And for us, uh, the, the books, the current books that is held by Christians are not in its original form of revelation. They've been changed throughout time. The Torah, for example, as well. So now we have Prophet Muhammad who brought the Quran, not from him, but it was only revealed from God. And the Prophet Muhammad, he recited the revelation, the Quran, to us Muslims. And the Muslims, they memorize it. Even the style of recitation of the Quran is very unique. It's, it's not like, um, it's, it's in a format that, in English we could say it, it rhymes, but it's not rhyming. It just have a melodic tone and they, they, uh, the structure is very similar. Attention seeking. <laughs> Enjoyment, please. Can you smell? German. I don't Nine. understand. Nine. That's the end of my German language. <laughs> so, um, going back to it. Yeah. So, in Islam, we have um, these are the six pillars of uh, faith, which is the belief. In, the, in God and his books and his angels. So when it comes to the scripture, the comparison between the Islamic scripture, when Prophet Muhammad had the revelation and he, he taught his companions, his companions were those who were around him, his followers. They recited the Quran during his lifetime and they verified the Quran during his lifetime and they memorized. Some of them they wrote on paper, leather and stones mm -hmm. so the Quran was revealed and again the Quran is something that it, Prophet Muhammad was around 1000 and, and maybe 500 years around that time which is not too long so the preservation of the Quran in comparison to the Bible and the Torah of course is more preserved is fully preserved from an Islamic perspective because his companions during his lifetime, they had the ability to verify the recitation. So this is something that has been preserved. And then the companions, Islam was an empire, unlike Christianity and Judaism. Well, well there were many empires from yeah. Christianity, like the Holy Roman Empire, the Rome, the Romanians were all uh, Romanians, uh, the Rome Empire, the Rome. <laughs> Romans were also an empire that was fully Christianity at one time. Yeah, but this came at a later stage. For example, the early hundred plus years of Christianity, the Christians were seen as um, illegal. It was illegal to be a Christian under the Roman Empire. Only the Emperor Constantine first made this uh, Christianity a legal religion. And after Constantine II made Christianity the official religion of the Roman Empire. But during the early days, the Christians would be prosecuted, chased and killed, you know. So for that reason, it was hard to preserve the scripture. 
Yeah, but still, it was kind of preserved through mouth language. Yeah, yes, but I understand what you're saying, but what I'm trying to say, the level of preservation is completely different. Because the very start of Islam started strong. And the very start of Christianity started weak. You see the logic. So, because Islam started strong, they had the ability to make the Quran, preserve the Quran, write the Quran in a book format. You understand? After the revelation. So the Quran was compiled in a way that was preserved. Uh, I think okay. we have to go. Oh yeah, not a problem. It was a pleasure to meet you. Yeah. And well. you can... <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. Can I give you a gift? Can I take one? Yeah, yeah, sure, take sure. Alright, take care. Yeah, it's hard. A lot of distractions.